straight out of the gate. Grandmaster hitting with that grab and going straight into the conversions. A quick 50% to start off this grand final set. And that's just, he's sending a message here to Foe as the set starts. I'm not one to be played around with. I'm gunning nope. for your throat. He wants his thoughts, you know, he wants to get out of here early. He wants those McDonald's cheeseburgers. We were talking about them earlier. I low key want them I as well. Why did I think of that earlier? I low key wants right. McDonald's. All right, some, well, let's. Some, anyway, <laughs> let's give shout out to Coke Gaming, right? Shout out to Coke Gaming. So we see, and I think, honestly, Grandmaster might be in a little bit Ooh. of a disadvantage gameplay wise because he's had to adapt so much from playing against Ven oh, to yeah. Foe, you know. Super patient versus super aggressive. So that, that gameplay change might come back to, uh, you know, haunt Grandmaster in the set, but we see him taking control pretty confidently yeah, early on. Yeah, he's got the percent lead. He's got the advantage in terms of where he is in the stage. And it's very even right now. One more hit between these guys could spell doom for their first stock. And it's really up Ooh, to that second stock. That back there will do it. Whenever these guys go at it, it's all down to who can get the second stock because the first, these first ones are going to yep. fly. Absolutely. They're going to fly by. We're basically playing a two-stock game here with these two. Very bad air dodge for Foe right there. Will he be able to get back? No spike from Grandmaster. And I think, honestly, what it comes down to is just who can stay at least just one step ahead. You know, I think it might come down to the last stock, last hit situation every single time. But can I just, you know, who's going to stay just that one extra step ahead of and I think Grandmaster might have the number on this first game right here. Oh See my him? goodness, Grandmaster laying it on heavy at the Ooh, ledge there. And folks actually able to sneak through all that pressure and get himself a combo. And that's just classic. Oh, oh for my you. god, barely missing the forward smash. Yeah, I think oh, that fire is going to do work, though. Another one at the ledge. Very forward nice. Throw. The follow up sound splashy. Nope. Grandmaster going to do it. Nice little jump at back to stage. Shutting down Foe's option to take the stock. Yeah, and that was a very. Very oppressive setup that he had right there. Nice absorption, oh but he God. goes right into the second explosive flame. Very nice. He said, nice. you know what? I'm going to just do it again. You know. That was excellent pressure from Grandmaster right there. Oh, the counter, but missing because that PK rocket, man. It's yeah. kind of tricky to catch sometimes. The momentum right just carries him through. But pretty even game. You know, both these guys have great burst options. I would say Ness probably has the better options at lower percentages, whereas Palutena kind of has to get you up there just a little bit. It's kind of what makes her honest as a, you know, as a high-tier character. But it's really up to who gets the second stock right now. Grandmaster breaking through with the dash tag. There Four we go. Take it. Reads the drift back from Foe. Foe trying to stay safe with his movement. Grandmaster overextending so in the right of, way. It's kind of up to Grandmaster about how big he wants his lead to be. So he's at a very dangerous Not percent. Large. Not much, Not only 11%. Much. Very, very even, very close. Even on this first game, these guys are so close and so evenly matched. Yeah, it just comes down to who can save that just that extra step ahead. Right now, Pierce, that Grandmaster, you know, he's taking the first stocks, he's taking early percent leads. Oh my god, whiffing again, but Foe's gonna That's fall beautiful. to that. Not gonna be able to make it, just not enough juice in that up B. So Grandmaster's gonna take yeah. game one. That was insanely confident. intelligent because Grandmaster knew not only if the counter hit, he would have been fine, but yep. the, even if the counter doesn't hit, he's gonna slow him down. He slows down PK Thunder too by putting a hitbox in front of him. So Fo only got really half of the distance. Yep. So that was a very, very smart edge guard to get him that first game, and he's gonna need that first game going into this first set. Taking that first stock at such an early percent as well, so that might be something to keep in mind going, you know, in, into this game too. Yeah. If I can force Fo to recover with that PK Rocket, I might be able to get an early stock. But going and right you already know though. that Fo is gonna do it super low. He likes to take his time recovering. So. Yep. You can already catch. Oh my god, no way. Took him off stage, but Grandmaster gonna be able to recover, maybe. Literally did a jab three to catch the upbeat. Grandmaster must have been much too far away to snap the ledge right there. Oh, absolutely, he definitely had to drift in just a little bit more to grab that ledge. Very, very smart edge guarding from Foe right here. Covering all the options, literally like predicting yep. what Grandmaster's gonna do. He did the nair, or he did the jab, he did the up smash at the perfect timing to catch the jump. Now we're seeing Grandmaster, you know, he's starting to Take away just, you know, this lead a little bit, but as soon as you get caught up in one thing, that's oh, it. Amazing Super coverage. Super early stock by Foe, only at 26%. And just like that, Grandmaster's first stock has gone only a minute past in this game, too. But he's on a hunt for Foe's first stock. He's slowly bringing oh it God, back. Nice dash. Super or, hard call yeah. out. Great use of the get up attack, using the invincibility to get to the up smash. And now Grandmaster still has the advantage here. Going for the back air, but getting shield grabbed. Not taking too much damage for it, though. I think one thing Grandmaster should do, especially you know in future sets, is really understand your spacing on super hard callouts. That way, yeah. even if it's like, you know what, I'm going to go for this callout. If it misses, I'm still safe. Because we see him do that up smash that ledge a lot. But maybe if he you know, 
can play with his opponent a little bit more, be like, I'm going to safely space this, space this out, so if it whiffs, yes. I'm okay. I'm still in a good position. And I'm really glad he elected to jump out of the pressure from the yo-yo because yep. no one's going to fall for that anymore. We know that we can get out after 11 hits. Yep. And that joint has way more than 11. After that weak one clip on Snoop yeah. where he got his shield broken, everyone's like, okay, I got to figure this out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fool me once. All right, you got me. Oh, oh my god. He should Is be that dead. it? Nice win box. Oh, oh my god, the win box almost taking it. He used both win box not enough. Ness actually has magnet hands, PSI hands. Getting him back to the ledge. Free punish right here. Nice That's dash attack. take it. There it is, that back air will though. So 78%. But just these wounded setup, and we know he's very good at just like kind of stringing together these random combos to take stocks. Yeah. Kind of just depends on how long Grandmaster can keep him in this disadvantage, you know, in the corner, even up in the air. He's doing so right now. He got caught in the peak and fire, but he's able to SDI out. Nice auto reticle. Forward air on a shield. He's applying safe pressure here. Foe attempting to get in. There he goes with the PK fire off of the double jump. Nice. Fourth throw off stage and set up. Foe to potentially take the stock. Yeah, Low trap situation. Clean attempt at a two frame with the neutral air. Wow, very nice catch. He has no double jump. Nice grab release. There it is. Great drop down nair by Foe. And that was just good awareness of what resources Grandmaster had because he caught him out of his double jump with the grab. He said, yep. okay, I'm just going to release you. And that's a free edge guard for me after the fact. Oh my god, charging up that forward smash ball, just like setting up yeah, another electric situation for Grandmaster. Uh-oh, Foe's going in here. Oh my god. Going for that PK rocket, trying yeah. to catch him off guard, but Grandmaster's going to stay alive just a little bit longer. And uh, you honestly kind of got feel bad for Grandmaster because not only is, you know, probably your your number one rival in the in, in the region, but your number two rival both have moves that can just shut down your explosive flame. So it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you just can't so catch a break with that. No free stocks for you. You really have to time it right. No free oh, stocks. Oh, wow, he grabbed him out of his dash. Amazing call out. What a Chad move. So we know Fo kind of likes to hold in, especially when you know he can outbox his opponent. Yeah, he loves to play aggressively, so that was very smart by Grandmaster. Just literally catch him out of his initial dash. Not even his initial oh dash, God, he was I running. Downer. Oh, Lord. Is Grandmaster time to just you know slow it down, force Fo to approach? Oh my God. I mean, out the yo-yo. This is tough for Grandmaster right here. He was able to get the first game, but oh my god. The follow This conversion might actually be it for him. Gets clipped by the back air, sending him back into a neutral situation. Now Foe in the driver's seat, catching him with the PK fire, and this might be it right here this if he goes for the it. neutral air two frame. Oh, great tech, but the yo-yo will take it. See Grandmaster yeah. shake his head. He understands like, yeah, okay, just, you know, boss control just a little bit too uh, early it, in that yeah. game. It must be frustrating because there's really nothing that he could have done there. He did everything that he possibly could. Yep. He teched the stage, but the yo-yo being right there, it's, not it's you there. Do it there. It's, <laughs> yeah, you can't really contest it either. You kind of just got to, like, I hope I time this right. Like, yeah. We see it right now, like, if like we know Fo is kind of like a lighthearted guy. You know, he's always joking around in the background, but he looks pretty serious right now. So He's always serious when it comes to grand finals and getting and, de like, defending his title. Because so. if Fo want, he wants nothing more than to win at all times. Yeah, and, 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 not even to grim, and not even to win, but just grow as well. You know, each victory, each loss is a learning experience. So this is more than just like, oh, yeah, I farmed the local today. Yeah. If Fo, it's like I learned a lot today. And he has to evolve and he has to grow See, to keep his number him? one spot. Because with Fo, everyone is evolving. It's just Fo evolves faster than everyone else does. Yep. Would you say he's able to mutate? I would say so. <laughs> we might uh, pick him up. We might send him a contract. <laughs> Great uh, follow up with the Tulsa Flame right there. Actually putting oh it my to God. use right now. Good Lord. It's looking like Ness doesn't have a magnet right now. Wh where, where was it? Foe just forgot about down B. He's like, where oh, is that it? move? What does that do? I don't remember. Oh, well. Yo, that last one, I literally saw the magnet animation start, but it didn't start soon enough. He got caught by another Explosive Flame. Yep. Literally so much damage, 100 plus just from Explosive Flame. It would be more. If not him uh, absorbing all the other ones. Oh my god. And that's. This might be all phone needs to just regain. Oh my. No. So the bad. SD. That's super unfortunate. But it happens. You have to hold it and you have to play yep. in the moment. What do you have to do right now to bring back this game? And that's what Foe's thinking here. And Foe, not, nece you know, not necessarily in a bad position. You know, he can outbox Grandmaster out of close range. You know, he has a lot of these. Super powerful early kill options, you know. We've seen him use that job lock to great effectiveness, you know, in so many other sets. But Grandmaster maintaining this control pretty well right now, almost, you know, lapping him in percent. Very, very nice forward tilt. 
Oh my god, counter just straight up not working right yeah. there. <laughs> counter literally, the hitbox connected with Ness. Ness said, I'm good, man. He said, oh, your move, it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> He's like, it oh, doesn't work you anymore. were trying to hit me? Oh, that's okay, you don't have to. Wow, the last hit of up air connecting though. Grounds are going to take such an early lead at the moment. Only at 79%, Sami. Look at the stocks, look at the stocks, Shaden. It's 1-3. to three. Grandmaster's looking clean in this game three. Great tech, oh my god, great landing as well. Palatine disappeared for a full, whole, like, five seconds there. <laughs> he was doing every defensive option he possibly could, and good on him, too, because he's still alive, and he can yep. still make this three-stock happen and add on more damage on Ness's last stock. Here we go. Very nice catching the spot dodge after the back air. Amazing spacing as well. Yes. Ooh, and he really almost got that force smash. He really almost did. Yep. Very, very clean conversions from Grandmaster right now. Starting off the game very strong, and he's about to finish strong as he looks to take this last stock from Foe here. Foe coming up with the up air, denying him that ledge trap. And now this is his chance to sort of bring it back here because Foe, he's done plenty of three stocks on Grandmaster. Yep. He's three stocked pretty much every player here. He can't three stock me though. That's a lie. He definitely can. Yeah, he definitely can. <laughs> yeah, he, he probably has at some point. <laughs> I am not, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to comment on that. However, I mean, doing just that. we know how Foe can kind of just regain control of magic very fast. So, you know, he's not... He's not going to get shaken up very easily, so Grandmaster going to stay calm here, you know, just stick to his game plan. Okay. Very nice. Fourth throw off. PK Thunder. Oh, the flash. Just to scare him a little bit. And the Great two frame. Tech. The two frame Second yet again. One will not work out for him, though. Yeah, he didn't even have an opportunity to tech that one. The, the neutral just sending him straight forward, and now one stock to one stock. Grandmaster has an opportunity to take the game right here. If he can confirm off of this ledge trap, let's see how he's going to do it. All Flo needs might be. His oh no way! Yo, oh my! That's rough. That is you see really even rough. Fo right now, he's just like that. He can't even look him in the face. He can't look him in the face. He's like, I really just did that. Wow. There, look at these guys. Whoa. They know how bogus Keep it on that the just was. for a minute. This is like. They know. Okay, there we go. He's smiling off. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. What oh my God, Kai's just died behind me. Jesus. This man just dolphin dive right behind the commentary. Is this Kino? I don't know what's happening right now. Are you good, guys? I tripped. You tripped? I don't know where my bag is. Oh, yeah, yeah. What does it look like, bro? It's a black bag, right? I gave it back to you, yeah. Chet? I don't know. Kai's is off the goop right Where's now. Where's Zert? Check with Zert. I don't know. Kai's wearing two jackets today. I don't know what's up with him right now. He's just, like That's overheating cloud. or That's something. That's cloud, okay? The more, yeah, that's right. The more jackets, the more clout you have. Yo, it's actually right? hot in this venue. And it, it's pretty warm. Speaking All right. of the venue, anyway. Game so four, yeah. potentially final game on We Smash are at set though. point. Foe is at set point here for the entire tournament over Grandmaster after getting that super impressive reverse 3-0. After with stealing that, that win. Just he literally robbed him. That was a crime. Like, and the police are on their way. They, they are, are on route. their way. Like, we are filled out the witness reports. Like, yes, sir. Watched a man get dismantled live on stream. That was pretty brutal. I apologize to all of you under 18 watching yes. the stream at the moment. That was pretty brutal to watch. If you have small children at home, please Do turn them away. Them don't let them look at the screen right now. Let them watch someone else. I'm pretty sure, like, I don't know, someone is streaming let right now. Let them watch Markiplier. There we go, yeah. The Bite of 87. Let, <laughs> just let them watch that. Oh, back air attempt. Pretty good follow by Grandmaster. However, just not in the right position to follow through on it. And losing that stock his right first there. First stock disappears right before his eyes. Grandmaster is sort of collecting himself here because this is his last chance to get back into the set here and Definitely. try to reset this bracket. He has to make it happen right now or it never will. Oh, my. No. Is that no. it? No. Was that the bite of 87? Was that the bite of 87? <laughs> <laughs> that was, that must have been the bite of 87 because that looked gruesome. That was something. Right that was he definitely supernatural to some extent. That was not, that was not normal. He got hit by one hit of down, or down smash. He just got. And just lost the stock. Just relegated to the bottom blast zone. And now Foe is just going off on his last stock here. I hate to say it, but it looks like Foe might take this tournament pretty free. <laughs> Grand on Master, this last game, due to Grandmaster SD pretty much twice. He has to have that mid-game level up right now if he wants to, you know, take this game and you know potentially push Foe into a you know a set two. Right now, it's like you're so mentally tired, you just yeah. lost your stock to that. It's like the odds are definitely stacked against Grandmaster, and we might see him lose the stock and maybe the next interaction. He's gonna have to pull off a miracle to get a game five in this set. Oh my! And the wings of heaven <laughs> just might be the miracle he needed. The call out. He was like, spot dodge, I dare you. Okay, you're dead. Please spot dodge, bro. I'm I'm literally on my knees begging bro, you to spot please, dodge. Spot dodge, please, bro. Please, yes. bro. Spot dodge, please, bro. Grandmaster with the sick re right there. P 
PK Fire not setting up into anything. Grandmaster locking him down to ledge. This might be an opportunity to get a quick stock. Playing a bit more confidently as well. He's like, okay, I still doubt this. I'm still not out of it yet. I just got to play a bit more carefully. Great reflect. Ooh, he still got hit by the up air. Oh Even my god. He carried it. Fo nice grab. Very smart call out by Foto. He's like, you know, you're trying to, you know, do some option to get out of this. I'm going to read it. Ooh, and the attempt at a trump. Oh, that's what I really like. That is going to kill. Oh my god. And there god. goes the tournament going to Foe, winning 3 1 over Grandmaster in Grand Finals with little friction. Grandmaster not happy right now. That's. I wouldn't be. I don't think any of us would. Please press F for my boy. Yeah, let's, tried and let's tried. do some G's in the chat for Grandmaster. That's, give, that's give rough. Some G's. Give him some kind of energy because my man needs it right now. That's he, rough. He tried and he tried, but in the end, it didn't even matter. Foe collecting his payout money behind me. Yes, sir. In case y'all wonder, like, how does Foe do it? There it is. That's his main source of income right there. Ivan is the is the, is the broker. God, yeah. this set right here, just lowest kill percent, two percent. Like, Foe just stealing away these stocks just out of nowhere. Absolutely. Very heartbreaking. I mean, just looking at, if you look at all of the data down to stocks taken, it looks like a very even set. No. Definitely. But. Da when you that get down to set, it, that second when you line get down right to it, the stocks really do matter. Yep. And Grandmaster let too many of them fall.